So what's new now? The biggest thing is Schedule K2. Now we said before, the K2 is an extension of Schedule K. So what they've done is they've taken what was, I think around 20 or so uh, boxes for line 16 on Schedule K, and they've blown it out to 19 pages. So yes, I said 19. So each line gets its own page, right? It's not quite that bad. But what they were finding is that one, we weren't getting the reporting that we were actually looking for on Schedule K in line 16. And the reporting that was there and the reporting that was required was insufficient for the new requirements that have come about in the last six years. So what does Schedule K tell us? Tells us about the income loss, tells us about certain deductions, talks about self-employment income, breaks out certain credits, talks about international transactions, talks about AMT items and how those can impact the taxpayer as well. Some other information in there, this is where we see things like the distributions that partners take, guaranteed payments, et cetera. And new for this tax year is line 21, which is the total foreign taxes paid or accrued. Now before this was buried in line 16 and was broken out by country. Here on line 21, it's just one lump sum. So what happened between 2020 and 2021? So the Schedule K for 2020, we can see here, we broke out several different items. We went all the way through from 16A through R. What does the Schedule K look like now? It's a tick box. Hey, that looks simpler, right? Yeah, it's simpler, but we'll break that down and see, show you how we went from these uh, 20 or so lines out to the 19 pages and what that information looks like. 